everyone, welcome to Breaking Bread. And on today's show, we're taking a restaurant tour around St. James Cathedral in downtown Brooklyn. So stay tuned. we're going to be out and about around St. James Cathedral in busy downtown Brooklyn. Now St. James is located just two blocks away from the Brooklyn and Manhattan bridges. There's definitely a lot of action and people around here. And in New York, where there's a lot of action and people, there's a lot of great places to eat. So let's get started. restaurant in downtown Brooklyn. I went to high school right down the street, so I've always known about Junior's. Now, let me show you what it's all about. Let's go. I'm here with Alan Rosen, third generation owner here at Junior's. Tell me who started this place. My grandfather actually in the 20s had a restaurant here called the Enduro. Election Day 1950, he opened Junior's with my father and my uncle. And he said, if we're going to be a great restaurant in New York, not only do we have to have great food, but we have to have great cheesecake. Okay. And he went around New York tasting and testing different cheesecakes. We'll come back to the bakery here and do experiments with their first baker. All right. And they finally hit upon a formula they thought was the best. That's amazing. So what is the most popular cheesecake here? The most popular cheesecake, there's two actually. It's our New York style classic original cheesecake and then the strawberry cheesecake, which is just that cheesecake topped with fresh strawberries. Now, did you guys make that up? Is that a concoction no, I think, of your grandfather's? No, I think cheesecake purists, well, the recipe, the basic recipe is, but cheesecake purists think that cheesecake should either be served plain or with yeah. fresh fruit. That's really how it was meant to be served. Wow, well, all of this food talk now has me really, really hungry, and I hear you got a spread rating for me. I do. We're going to taste some cheesecakes. Well, let's go. I can't wait anymore. Uh -huh. Alan, this is a beautiful, beautiful spread. My head is spinning. This all looks so good. Thank you. Now, we've got the classic cheesecake over there. New York style cheesecake. Right. Chocolate swirl. Okay. Strawberry cheesecake. I know that well. We're acquainted. <laughs> chocolate mousse cheesecake. New York style cheesecake covered chocolate mousse and chocolate ganache. Mm. Pineapple cheesecake. Cherry. A and devil's food cheesecake, which okay. is a New York style cheesecake inside of a chocolate layer cake. You have a blueberry slice of cheesecake. Apple crumb cheesecake back here, and then a black forest cheesecake. Okay, and I just want to point these two out because these are a little out of the ordinary. I've never seen an apple crumb cheesecake or a black forest cheesecake. Apple crumb cheesecake is a combination of our two, you know, two most popular desserts in America: apple pie and cheesecake. Apple pie is my favorite on the planet. Well, so we have good apple pie too. Okay, well I'm going for that. That's that I'm gonna have to have a taste. Please. Oh, crispy fresh apple! I felt yeah. that on my fork. Oh my gosh. I can't let you eat alone. I gotta have some. Please do. Now. Fun. Thanks. You guys have been expanding like crazy. 42nd Street, Grand Central. Grand Central Station. We have two small stores a bakery mm -hmm. on the main concourse and a restaurant on the lower level. Right. Um, 45th Street between Broadway and 8th and Manhattan in the theater district. Um, we have a big restaurant. And then up at the MGM Grand at Foxwoods in Connecticut. Amazing. So you guys have to come to Junior's. Try this and try everything on the menu. There's even red velvet cake here. Alan, thank you so much for having us. My pleasure. And I'm just going to keep on digging in. I just finished having some amazing cheesecake, but Alan insisted that I have something else off the menu, and of course I couldn't decide, so he gave me a few suggestions. These are the homemade cheese blintzes, corned beef and pastrami on twin rolls, 10 ounce steak burger and the salmon. So I already ate so much. I'm going to try to keep it healthy and I'm going to taste the salmon first. Mm-hmm. Delicious. Light. Good. Well, we can't have everything so healthy. I'm going to try some potato salad too. Mm, it's a red potato in there. 
When Alan said that Junior's wasn't just about cheesecake, he was not kidding. You gotta try one of these when you come in here. Okay, so I'm continuing my tour around St. James Cathedral, and my next stop is Pete's Downtown. A must try, I hear. Let's go check it out. So I'm here with Pete, the owner of Pete's downtown. Now your family has a really long history in this neighborhood. Tell me about it. Yes, we're uh, four generations of restaurateurs and uh, my great grandfather started on Hudson Avenue right here by the Brooklyn Navy Yard. Wow. And through the years we moved over to this location. So four generations, about when, when did your grandfather open up? Uh, in about 1918, when wow. my grandfather, uh, Pete, married my grandmother. It was her father that started the restaurant business, but uh, he made the name Pete's, which we carry on today. And now you're Pete. And I'm Pete. Okay. Well, all the first boys are named Pete. Pete, okay. It was repeat and uh, repeat. Repeat and repeat. repeat. Yeah, yeah, definitely. <laughs> Definitely. Okay, so what kind of food do you guys serve here? We serve traditional Italian food. Okay. And the menu almost stays the same uh, throughout these years, which, really? uh, you know, it works. If we it stay with it. If it works, we stay with it. Now this, what is this? This looks amazing. This is one of our favorite dishes, uh, mushroom timbali. Mushroom which timbali. is good for vegetarians too, but okay. it's uh, portobello mushrooms, and it's baked around a mushroom duck cell, which consists of uh, portobello mushrooms, pacini mushrooms, and cremini mushrooms. So we got three mushrooms going three on. Three mushrooms with a roasted puree sauce and a basil puree. Okay, so let's dig yeah, in. Let's uh, give that you the mushroom. Great. Now, I like mushrooms, but I like meat too. So this is kind of nice to have a, a little vegetarian thing in there before you oh, this is hardy really too. start digging in. This is delicious. Thank you. This is really delicious. Mm. Well, you know, I also always have to insist that you guys let me get in the kitchen to cook. What do I get to cook today? Today we're going to make uh, veal pascolina. That's another favorite nice veal dish. It's uh, the takeoff of a little veal masala. Mm -hmm. But we added a few extra ingredients that makes it very popular here in the Your restaurant. surprises here at, at Pete's? Yes, definitely. Okay, definitely. sounds good. So, this is delicious. So I'm just gonna have a few more bites, then I'm gonna get in the kitchen and get to work. So Pete, now we have a helper to teach us how to make the veal, right? Right. Who's this? This is Jose. He's Jose. Our, our chef, and he's probably one of the calmest guys you'll find in the kitchen. I see. And uh, he's gonna make uh, veal pascolina for you. All right, so let's, let's get right into it. Right. What's step one? Okay, step one, he put some granola oil in the pan to heat it up. Right. And ready to uh, put the scallopinis in the pot, and uh, we're gonna brown those on uh, both sides, nice and lightly, okay. the veal, okay? And then uh, after he browns the veal, all right, he's gonna just uh, deglaze it, take the oil out of the pan a little bit, okay? So you're taking a little oil out of out the of pan? Out. Yeah, we Why just, is that? It's just cooking, it's just browning it. We don't want oil in the dish itself. Okay, we don't want it to be okay. greasy, is that Not it? Not greasy at all. Okay. And then we're gonna add some shallots. Alrighty. Okay, uh, some mushrooms, some white mu mushrooms. White mushrooms. Okay, some dried tomatoes. And we're going to just uh, cook that a little bit. You know, so you don't have to put any other fluid in it? That's just enough, just like that? That's just enough. Wow. Uh, okay. okay, if it's cooked down a little bit, we have uh, some masala wine that we add to the, to the pan. And we're going to reduce that. Reduce the masala wine with all of this wine. stuff. Okay, and then we'll add a little salt. Salt. And a, a new age fresh pepper milk. Whoa, none of that hard work on no, the arms. No, no, not at all. Never seen that before. Then chicken stock. Chicken stock. Okay, and some brown sauce. What's brown sauce? Well, we make it from uh, beef bones. We roast them, mm -hmm. and uh, we add some uh, stock to it. And some other stuff that you're not telling me, and of some course. seasonings, and we cook it down for about half a day. Okay. And it makes it nice and rich. You make that here, homemade, make obviously. everything here in the restaurant, just like my family did it. Beautiful. Okay? 
and uh, after this cooks down. How, lo about how long do you let that reduce for? I would say four minutes. Okay. Bit. This is a quick dish, it's a saute dish and that's what it's all about. Alrighty. And then uh, we're gonna finish it with a little butter, give it a nice flavoring and a little shine on the sauce. Yeah. And then after that, we're gonna just plate it up. A little butter makes everything taste good. Oh, definitely, definitely. And uh, So we let that continue to reduce continue and reduce. when it's all done, what does it look like? What does it look like? Well, this is the Ooh. dish that's plated. Wow. For you. And it has the pascalina, some sauteed stream beans and garlic and olive oil. And this is our homemade mashed potato. Beautiful. Make it every day with a, a potato chip uh, garnish around it, like a rose. Like a bowl, Making yeah. these since uh, 1988. And everybody loves mashed potatoes, even though we're supposed to serve potato cooking. Oh, uh, I mean, this that? is an Italian restaurant, but who doesn't love good mashed potatoes? So now I'm going to try this, and I'm going to tell you how good it tastes. I know it tastes good because it already smells good. So look who came to join us, Father Jamie. You this know I wouldn't miss this, Tati. There's a good surprise. <laughs> you weren't sure if you could make it today. Of course, with this food, this Father Jamie. You know That's that. right. <laughs> <laughs> look what I made. Wow. Veal? Yep. And sun-dried tomatoes. Yes. Those are my favorite. Some mushrooms. Mushroom. Mm. Garlic, mm. I smell. Yes. Yeah. Pete, what do we call this dish? Uh, veal pascalina. Mm. Veal pascalina. Dig in or Let's dig it. Let's go for it. Yeah. Ladies first. Go. Three beans. And of Those course, mashed potatoes. Uh, mashed potatoes we make every day. Every day. And what's that Great. served in there? That's, uh, That's served in uh, our potato chip that we've been making since uh, 1988, even though we're an Italian restaurant. That's a little bit for the Irish food. <laughs> there you go. Well, wow, that All right. good. Some string beans. Great. Great. Okay, and some homemade mash. I know, whenever I come here, I love to eat the shell. Yes, well, it's all edible, <laughs> yeah. so that's what people love about it. Well, it looks really good, but you know I had to break it in. I had to taste it. I want to go for the veal first. Mmm. Good. This is delicious. I'm going straight for this veal that we made. Well, I know Father Jamie a long mm. time, so I know he loves food and he loves to cook. <laughs> that I know. Mm. Well, this is absolutely delicious. you got to come down to Pete's downtown and try this for yourself. A little spin on veal marsala. Let's keep eating. Grimaldi's Pizza, the best pizza in all of Brooklyn. That's right, that's right. But how are we going to get in with all these people in line? Well, we're not waiting online. We're not? No. I know the owner. How did I know that? Are I should have guessed. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> In Grimaldi's with Gina, the manager. Thank you so much for squeezing us You're in. You're welcome. This place is packed, and there's a line outside. Always. Is it always like this? Always, always. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, I can attest to that because I've been by here hundreds of times, and it's always like this. Seven days a week there's a line outside. And there's a major oh. thunderstorm, and it's still people it's online still outside. 20 people outside. It's amazing. Tati, but one thing, whenever I come, I don't have to wait online. Yeah. <laughs> Are you surprised? No. He has <laughs> connections up there yeah. and down here. Tell me yeah. about it. He's like the mayor when we go around. It's great. We love being with Father Jamie. So Gina, what makes your pizza so special here? Basically the fresh ingredients, fresh cheese, basil, all our ingredients are actually fresh. You know, delivered daily and... Uh, it's fresh and ready to go. Ready now, to go. Now you guys have something very special here. Tell me about that whole oven. The oven is obviously built and now it's quite old, but it's coal fired every day. Um, we reheat it once a day, very similar to a, you know, a barbecue. Mm -hmm. The oven gets about 900 degrees. So as it cools down, usually middle of the afternoon, we give it another, you know, reheat. So every pizza has that, you can see the charcoal flavor. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now tell us what we have here. Uh, that would be just the regular pizza, a margarita pizza, okay. uh, tomato, basil, mozzarella, and dough, a little grated cheese on top. And this one I see is pepperoni and sun-dried tomatoes, with also tomato, mozzarella, and basil. And all that, I have to say this smells amazing. You'll have to dig in. Uh, yes. I think it's time to dig in. Okay, Tati, what would you like? I have a margarita. Margarita? Okay. Now, I've wanted to eat here for years, 
years and years, but I was always intimidated by the line. Are these for you? Of course, of okay. course. So this is a first for me, and it's 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 a real, real treat. Okay. So I'm gonna dig on it. Go ahead. I can't barely control myself. <laughs> What I love about this pizza is the crust. It's so crispy and thin. It's thin, it's crispy. Mm, delicious. Just like in Italy. Similar. <laughs> I, I actually didn't like the pizza in Italy. I it's couldn't different. wait to get it's back different. here and eat, eat this pizza. This is this good. This cheese is delicious. Yeah, it's, it's, oh, like no. I said, we get it delivered daily, so it's always fresh cut and sliced. And... Well, there's something else in this. I don't know what it is. It is delicious. You have to come and check Romaldi's out for yourself. Don't be intimidated by the line. It is well worth it. So we're going to keep on keeping on. <laughs>Father Jamie, I think we've got time for one more place today. I think we do. Have you ever tried the Brooklyn Ice Cream Factory? I have, but you can never have it enough time. Let's go. All right. So here I am with Sammy, the manager of the Brooklyn Ice Cream Factory in Brooklyn Heights. Yes. How are you? Good, how are you? We're so excited to be here. This ice cream is super famous all over the place. Thank you. But tell the audience about the ice cream. What's special about it? Well, this ice cream is the best ice cream you're ever going to find in New York City. Okay, why? Now, we, we have only eight flavors, and a lot of people complain about that, but eight flavors is the best. It's the way to go. Uh, we have toppings, caramel, butterscotch, strawberry, pineapple, toasted almonds, but walnuts. So... This is great. You okay. don't need any more flavors than that. All right, and yep. you make this ice cream right it's here. It's made right here on the premises. Okay, so Father Jamie, what flavor are you gonna have? Well, I love the peaches and cream, my That's favorite. Great choice. It's the best, best That's flavor. Exactly. It's my favorite too. So, would you like a cup or a cup? A cup, okay. You get more in a cup than a cup. You get, <laughs> well, you <laughs> actually get the same amount. <laughs> It's a lot more fun on the combo. It just yeah. makes you feel like you're getting a lot. Would you like more. to try it yourself? Would you like, or let me let me show you how to make the scoop perfect scoop. So what's the whole like thing? That. I see you're kind of moving the, well, the bucket around. The whole point is that you want to go around the top as opposed to down in the middle. Right. Okay. Almost like a snowball, making the right. snowball. Right. It's a little easier. Here it is. Great. And tell me how that is. Peaches and cream. Now this flavor I haven't had here. I have to be honest, I've been here before, but I haven't had this one. How is it, Father James? Outrageous. Nice. Outrageous. Great. You want to taste? I'm glad um, you like it. Actually, I want <laughs> butter pecan, which is my favorite flavor that you guys have here. But I want to try to scoop it myself. Cool. I'll take sure. a cup. You want a cup? Yeah. Or a cone? Okay. A cup is good. But well, I'm too messy for a cone, so I'm going to stick with the Great. Cup. Here's a scoop. Let's you see how me. you do. Okay. You're doing great. And I'm turning it around. Oops, I lost it. You know what? I eat a lot on this show, so I'm gonna stick with one scoop. Well, that's perfect. Wow, you did a great job. How was it? Not the bad, right? The first time. Not bad. I kind of watched you. It's kind of intuitive. Yeah. This is my favorite part. A spoon and a napkin. Wow. How's that? I'll get a little vanilla myself. It's delicious. Tati, you know what's really great? Fun. Going to Grimaldi's for pizza exactly. on a nice summer night. Exactly. Come over here, get some ice cream, and go and watch, look at the skyline. It's beautiful. It is. The skyline is even beautiful from here. That sounds like a perfect summer evening. And eating. check this out, vanilla and hot fudge on top. Oh, wow. Mm. Hot fudge is my favorite. Dang, why oh. didn't I think of that? I was too caught up with the, too caught up with the butter pecan. Great. Is that fudge made here too? Mm-hmm. So everything in here is homemade? It's homemade. This is excellent. And this will be the perfect, perfect ending to a summer evening and the perfect end to our show today. So if you'd like to learn more about the Brooklyn Ice Cream Factory or any of the places that we visited today, go to our website. For Breaking Bread, I'm Tati. And I'm Father Jamie. See you next time on Breaking Bread. Mm -hmm.